Hi, I'm Holly Hughes, and this is the globe that I worked on in 1996. I built it for Earthworks, which is a great learning facility where there is a six-week curriculum in the schools for third and fourth graders, and then they go to Earthworks and learn about different ecosystems and habitats. It was a really fun project because I worked with about 2,000 kids and adults, people from all countries and all ages and all abilities, and a huge pile of trash. The globe sits on an axis and rotates, and when you get to the other side of this, there's a big hole in the ocean where you can actually see ocean characters and ocean life. Now, there were so many great stories in the making of this piece that I always wanted to tell the story on the internet. I wanted to tell the magic, the making of the pieces, the materials, and um, the big picture. So the technology wasn't there in 1996, but it is here today. So that is why I am offering the Enviroscapes. The Enviroscapes are three boxes of art representing earth, water, and air. And these pieces each have their own unique curriculums related to earth, water, and air, even though all of those elements are related to each other. Um, this piece here, earth, when you look at it, it's like an inloader scooping up a woodcock. So I would invite teachers and students and people that look at this piece to think about the environment that they ha are in and what makes it safe and what makes it feel protected. Um, this piece is positive because we have so many new ways of protecting land and developing more healthy soils and we have learned about a lot of chemicals that we use that are endangering the health of the soil in a lot of ways that soil is um, destroyed and what it needs to be healthy. So this piece represents the opportunity to learn about all those new things. On a human level, we also have roots. The earth inside of our bodies is sort of represented by our bones and the structure that we have to stand up with. Um, if you look at this piece, you can see that the plants have roots. And I invite you to think about what are your roots and what makes you stand up strong in the world. You know, when you have something wrong with you, how do you get help? Those are the roots that you have, the way that you can reach out and connect and grow. The second piece, the water piece, features a giant fish, which is a spoonbill fish. The spoonbill fish is actually 50 million years older than the dinosaur. Now that in itself is a phenomenal, exciting fact. You know, that this animal is alive and healthy in Missouri River Basin waters is exciting. Um, there are also cousins to this fish in the Yangtze River in China. That's kind of cool, too. Um, when you look at the water piece, um, when you look at this, you see lots of other different kinds of fish. And I invite you to think about the water in your body. The bo water in our bodies is the fluid, or the lymphatic system, the way that we release our toxins. And this element in our body is also symbolic of our emotions. 
and the way that we flow in the world. As an educator, as a student, as a human, I invite you to think, how do you flow in the world? And um, what do you accept or not accept? What kind of boundaries do you have? Um, looking closer at this fish, you can also learn about different kinds of materials, or you can question different kinds of materials. On the website, you will be able to look at these little blue fish and learn that they are styrofoam from vegetable and meat containers. These little fish are from toothpastes. This fish is partly a oil container, partly a fertilizer bag. So on the internet, you can click closer and learn about, for example, the fertilizer bag. What different kinds of fertilizers do we have? What is the purpose of fertilizer? Well, it's to make healthy soil. So what are all the different ways that we can make healthy soil? That's what I encourage you to learn about as you look a little closer at these pieces. The third Enviroscape that I have is two little eaglets in their nest. And they can also be symbolic of air. Um, I think in my human body, air is in my lungs, and I wonder, how do I breathe spirit into my dreams? Every time we create, we are bringing a dream to life. And at one point, um, scientists developed something called DDT. And this was to be a miracle, um, miracle ma material that was used to kill off insects and to make plants healthy. And um, we used it intensively for a lot of years. And then scientists and farmers started noticing that some species were disappearing. And the eaglets, in particular, became endangered because of the use of DDT. Their shells were too fragile, so the eggs wouldn't survive, and the, the birds couldn't get born. Well, with the knowledge, with this knowledge, um, we decided to stop using DDT. Now we don't use DDT, and little eaglets are thriving. We have great supply of eagles in our country now. And so this is the positive message in this piece, that we have the power of choice. You know, yes, we make mistakes, but if we recognize mistakes, we can change them, and nature will bounce back. Um, again, you can look closer on these pieces and learn about different kinds of materials. If you look closer on this piece, as in each of the pieces, you will find some little embroidered words. Now, this says, a million birds die every year from plastic pollution. And it also says over here, um, each year 70 million balloons are released into the atmosphere. Where do they go? Now, those are pretty powerful little statements. But I'm challenging you to find out if they're true or not. There is, n there is no information embroidered here about where these statements came from. And as with all information, it's important to learn the truth. These facts change constantly. You know, this may have been true 10 years ago, but it may be different now. It may be worse. It may be better. Um, it is always our responsibility to know how to find the truth and where to look for it. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. Thank you.